What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Gonna be playing a game on PTCGO today, and today we've got Ultra Necrozma, a deck I think gets really, really good with the release of Team Up. If it wasn't very good already, definitely was. Gets even better with Team Up because of Viridian Forest and Stellar Wish Jirashi, both awesome additions to this already proven deck. And the great thing about Ultra Necrozma is that it can trade with non-GXs, thanks to that Distortion Door Gear Tina, it is able to act like a non-GX deck for just one card. Absolutely incredible. Then it can knock out Tag Team Pokemon GX as well with your Ultra Necrozma. Photon Geyser hitting huge numbers against Tag Team Pokemon GX. The versatility of this deck is absolutely off the charts. You see it all over the place on PTCGO. It's a deck that a lot of players already have. They're already practiced with it. I think a lot of players feel very comfortable with this deck right off the bat, so I expect it to be very popular in the upcoming, uh, you know, tournaments in standard format. Definitely. So let's, uh, let's get things started here. I guess I could let loose or I could go with a Tapu Lele for a turn one supporter. I'm playing against a lightning deck here. So let's just get it popping with I'll let loose. I'm feeling myself. I think we I think we got this. All right. I'm not I'm not trying to get a GX Pokemon onto my bench right now just because I'm playing against the Zapdos deck. And I know that they can punish me. And speaking of punish, never punish. Here we go. Amazing turn one let loose. We've got an energy onto my active NK and just Lily for six. Big ones there. Into the Jirachi. Excellent. And we have got it here for a perfect turn one from the Ultra Necrozma deck. Now with this hand, I've got a couple of copies of Lily. Uh, I think that I really do like a switch though, just in case that I do not find any sort of uh, other thing. So I like the switch. I can get myself a couple of Malamars. Very good. And we're ready to roll. Right, what else do we need? We've got three copies of Inke, a Malamar, all that. Let's go. So long as my opponent doesn't knock out my Jirachi, then I'm going to have a really, really good next turn as well. I could get myself potentially another copy of Mysterious Treasure, maybe get myself uh, an attacker. I do have this Ultra Necrozma here, but I didn't want to bench it yet because I couldn't attach to it, so no real reason to do that. I just wanted to keep it in my hand. Though my opponent does have Ultra Ball for Lele, they could be going for, I guess, I mean, I guess they could go for a Judge, but they probably don't have Judge. Probably going for Cynthia or Lily or something like that. Lily, I imagine, get that turn one draw to eight. Doesn't that always happen off of Let Loose? You let loose your opponent, and then they get eight. So they're going to have an amazing turn one as well. And it looks like I am not playing against a dedicated Zapdos de deck. This appears to be more of a Pikaram deck. So we're going to get to show off the firepower of this Ultra Necrozma deck here, taking out big Pokemon like, there he is, Pikaram. All right, like Pikaram. Hey, 240 hit points, no problems for this Ultra Necrozma deck. We can easily hit those numbers. My opponent's got a bench full of GX Pokemon, which is exactly what I want to see. I love this. As an Ultra Necrozma deck, this is exactly what you want. We've even got the Marshadow in this list so that I could even Dawn Wings one of these things if I wanted to. The options are endless. So, start off here. We know we're evolving that Malamar, period. That is not changing whatsoever. Then I can also probably Mysterious Treasure for another Malamar. I know that's probably what's about to go down here. So, I'll thin my deck one more time. Get myself that second Malamar, very good. And I think here we kind of just, you know, bide our time. If I don't get the knockout on the Zapdos this turn, that's okay. I kind of just prepare for the later game here. Let's Stellar Wish, see what we get. I have a Guzma. So Guzma's very good, but I don't think it actually does anything because I don't have a good attacker on board right now. I could hit something with a Lele, that feels kind of bad. I could hit something with a Marshadow, which also feels kind of bad. So, we might want to save the Guzma, and I have Cynthia as well, so I think we just go for the Cynthia here. I like that. And then we'll try to hit a Guzma later in the game. 
I'll just attach here, boom, here we go. And then Cynthia, very conservative play, but that's fine because I don't think my opponent is going to be like knocking me out. Like Guzma, knock out my Ultra Necrozma. I don't think that's happening. And then on my side of the board, I am just like ready to roll, right? Like I've got the metal energy in my hand already. Uh, I'm like cruising. And I don't want to put that Ultra Necrozma into the active position unless I'm looking at a Pokemon GX. So that's good. I'll pass and put the ball into my opponent's court. Now, I do want a Guzma desperately. If my opponent is able to maybe double Electro Charge and knock me out with this Zapdos, then I am not going to be happy about that. The ideal scenario for me, obviously, is that my opponent is like Energy Switch, Thunder Mountain, Prism Star, and tries to full blitz with their you know, their peak around. That's kind of my ideal scenario, is that they go for that. I mean, I highly doubt that they're just going to serve me up the ball like that, but you never know. <laughs> I, it's not easy for this Zapdos to take a knockout on this Jirachi in the active right now. They would have to Electro Charge a couple of times, which, like, wasting Electro Charges like that just feels... Is it Electro? It's Electro Power, right? Electro Power? Electro Power. Electro Power? Electro power, there it is, yes. You don't want to waste electro powers like that, but they're gonna just double electro power. They don't even care. They don't need those things, apparently. I think, I don't know, uh, Ultra Necrozma's got 190 hit points. Full Blitz only does 150 with their, uh, only does 150 with the base there. So with the Choice Band only does 180. So you do have to be wary of that, but they are able to take the knockout without changing Zapdos from their active position. So now I'm desperately looking for a Guzma, though I do have Switch and Rescue Stretcher, so I can bring that Jirachi back if I want to. All right, we'll put the Mars Shadow up and see what we can do here. Oh, I do have the Giratina. That's very good, because then I can knock out the Zapdos with that. So let's first go and Acro Bike and see what we get off of that. Lily and a Malamar. I think I like the Malamar best. And then I can just take a knockout on the Zapdos, I go triple Psychic Recharge, attach, ooh, I don't wanna attach, I can't triple Psychic Recharge, oh, this is bad. All right, so I think we just go, Lily could be better than the, yeah, I think Lily actually is the maneuver here now that I'm looking at it, because all my energy are actually like accounted for right now, so I have to, hmm, I have to think this one out. Let's Rescue Stretcher and bring back a Malamar, I think. That's fine, we'll do that. Then we are going to probably put this Giratina down. We're probably going to just attach, I guess we're gonna attach this Metal Energy to the Ultra Necrozma and then just Lily here for some more cards. That feels really bad. I can Psychic Recharge once, though. If I attach the Metal to the Giratina, I could potentially just get, let's see, then we're Lilying for three. I would need to get a way to get a Psychic Energy into the discard pile. I could switch, retreat. That's not going to do it. So, yeah. Let's just go with the Metal. Oh, that feels so bad, though. Uh, I could just take the knockout with my Ultra Necrozma, I guess. That also feels bad, though. I am not really trying to do that. Though, I will if I have to. I mean, it's that's fine. I actually kind of prefer that play. Let's just Lily. We would have had it! Oh, we would have had it. That feels horrible. So, that's okay. We'll just go ahead and Viridian Forest away our Psychic Energy. Get ourselves another Psychic Energy. That's fine. I mean, what more could we do? And then I'm either in a situation where I just take the knockout here. I think I have knockout on it. You know, I think since I just have knockout, other, like anyways, I'm just gonna do it because I just have the knockout. So it doesn't actually matter. So if my opponent does go and blast me to pieces with their, you know, their Pikachu Zekrom, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just Photon Geyser. We're gonna get rid of it. Because, I mean, bad things could happen. My opponent could, like, Tapu Koko GX me if I leave all that energy in play. Just not good. I really wanted to take the knockout with the Giratina there, but I didn't have it guaranteed. And there is not, there's a potential that my opponent doesn't hit the knockout here because 
they did just blow two electro charge on my Jirachi. So they may not have it, which would be great. If they do like 180, I'm cool on it, right? Because then I just have some options going forward. If they do take the knockout, I've got Ultra Necrozma, Viridian Forest, Triple Psychic Recharge, blow them to smithereens in return. But if, you know, it could get tight here coming down to the wire because I'm going to go down to two prizes. Then I just need to bring back one more Pokemon. I think, like, I trade fine here. If they knock out my Ultra Necrozma, I knock out their Pikaram, go down to two prizes remaining. They knock out um, another Ultra Necrozma, right? Then they go to one prize. Then, uh, so long as I don't let them like do a three prize turn where they knock out an Ultra Necrozma, which they haven't really set themselves up to do because they don't have another Picaram in play here. I think I'm good, right? They should not be able to pull off this three prize turn. So I'm cool. They really have set up their board kind of suboptimally. They really want another Pikachu Zekrom on the bench because at this point, since they are, you know, they have the opportunity to sack this Ultra Necrozma, they would really like to charge to another Pikachu Zekrom, then go for the three prize turn themselves to win the game. But they're a little bit off that strategy right now. Unless, oh, well, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're about to get loosed up in here. My opponent's going to Lily first and then give it the goose, the let loose. They got a one, two. They got their final two electro charge. What can I say? No choice band needed. Full blitz. They're not even going to let loose. That's fine. I've got the return knockout right here. And the cool thing about this return knockout is that, and I guess they need a choice band in order to knock me out with Zorora. So. That's fine. And then I can just come in with my Marshadow GX for game if it ever gets down to that. Let's get going here. I've got Ultra Necrozma. I've got Viridian Forest. That's cool. Give me the metal energy, please. And then we're going to attach it and just Cynthia. Let's see, like a bunch of new cards that are not these ones, please. And yeah, we got Beast. Okay, we got some things. It's not, oop, don't retreat yet. I uh, got some things. It's not exactly what I need for next turn yet. In order to win this game, I'm gonna need like Marshadow GX. I just need Marshadow GX, all right? That's who I'm gonna need. And then I probably also need to get like one Psychic Attacker or just some sort of attacker into the discard pile as well. And then I can do it. I do have Guzma, which is very good. So if my opponent doesn't, respond to this Ultra Necrozma here, then we're in there, all right? And uh, can just win the game easy, easy mode. But if they do respond to the Ultra Necrozma, I'm gonna need a backup attacker. So we're gonna need like something. There we go though, that should do it. I could get either Dawn Wings, I could GX with Dawn Wings and Guzma. I can go get Marshadow GX. I mean, with this hand I can make anything happen, but we already know they got the let loose in their hands, so that's bad dude because they're just gonna go grab choice ban and then let loose me and then it's all up to whatever <laughs> and then we might just lose so this is rough uh yikes my guys major yikes here we go let loose let's get it pop in here very tough 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 game here i should have just gone with the giratina early i was i was feeling skeptical as if we you know that we were going to hit it this is not bad though. I can make a game winning play with this. All I need to do is get the Viridian Force gone. Yikes. Okay. I need to get an Ultra Necrozma, or not an Ultra Necrozma. I need to get a Dawn Wings right now. If I top deck the Dawn Wings, I'm cool, right? Because we just have it. But, you know, the Choice Band needs to go on to the Dawn Wings. <laughs> That's for sure. So we'll, uh, we'll promote that. Then. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're not in a great spot here. I think that's fine. I think we're just gonna like burn at least the these, and then just say I hope I hit Ultra Ball. Does Ultra Ball win me the game? No. Yes. No. Not quite. Okay, we're close. Let's uh, let's just see what we get off this Cynthia. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see here. We've got some things. Okay, so let's uh, mysterious treasure first. I think 
and get myself the Dawn Wings, and then we go for Choice Band, my final Choice Band off of this. So let's get rid of the Lily, I guess. Find myself the Dawn Wings, and then I guess, I mean, there's the other way that I win this is I get the Dawn Wings into the discard pot, I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna, and if we get like Marshadow, right? If I get an Ultra Ball here, I win, because then I can, we gotta keep the beast. Does this win? No, I attach. Oh my gosh, I could win if I just didn't attach. Okay, that's fine. So if we get Ultra Ball here, we win, because I can Ultra Ball for the Marshadow. We did not get it. Unreal. All right, so very tight game there. I just don't have it. Got triple Psychic Recharge. I could GX this thing. I mean, I have to try to GX this thing. Which is really, really tough. Yeah, because then if they just have Guzma, they have games. So we got to just hope they don't have Guzma like that. I mean, there's a bunch of different things, and that game could have done differently. I guess maybe I shouldn't have put that choice bin on the Garatina, but I was trying to thin my deck. I probably shouldn't have attached to the Mars Shadow, but then I think, I don't know. I, I mean, trying to figure out the odds there were just uh, was tough. So I guess we just hope they don't have Guzma. If they don't have Guzma, then we're cool. But uh, we'll make this guy invincible real quick and see if that is enough to do it. And then we might just win the game because they don't have Guzma. But if they have Guzma, that's it. They'll just Guzma one of these dudes and Plasma Fist it with their Zorora GX. Or maybe even Sky High Claws, whatever they're feeling. But I have definitely seen games where they don't have Guzma, right? They might just not have it. They haven't played it yet. I've been talking here for at least 10 seconds, and they have not played the Guzma. So you're saying... Ah, uh, no, they have it. They're totally, totally about to... Well, no. Why are you energy switching? I'm invincible. You can't knock me out. Volkner, are they going to escape rope? If they have an escape rope in their deck, I got next leveled, guys. No escape rope. I think we're in there. We may have done it, but I don't want to speak too soon. Are they slow rolling me? They ain't got it like that. Nothing. All right, and then we're just going to be able to Guzma up this fella, boom, boom, game, GG's. I'm gonna shadow punch you for knockout because it's hilarious. Let's get it. Good game to my opponent. And we got there with Ultra Necrozma. Very close match. Uh, pfft, you really don't want to end it like that. You'd rather just like kinda, you know, just uh, not get your Ultra Necrozma knocked out super early like that by a Pikachu Zekrom. Maybe there's a couple routes I could have chosen differently. But that was a good game. So we got there. Ultra Necrozma, great deck. It can compete with non-GX decks like Lost March. It can compete with Pikachu Zekrom as well. It's just that strong. Definitely a deck to look out for in the upcoming Tag Team Pokemon GX Team Up metagame. This is the list that I was rocking there on this gameplay. I'm also going to be streaming tonight on twitch.tv slash tricky gym. So make sure to check that out. Give the channel a follow. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Friday mornings, Monday and Wednesday nights. So make sure to please check that out. Give it a follow. If you like the content at all, I'll tell you the live show, very fun. Had a great time doing that so far. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all at Collinsville, anybody who's heading to the Collinsville Regional Championships. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace.